<laughs> Gordon! Gordon, what is the deal, baby? Zobi Savage is back to bring you another unboxing. Now, the unboxing is of one of the greatest RPGs of this generation and of all time. Of all time, I'll put it in my top five list. I will not give you my top five right now, but I will tell you it is in my top five list of greatest games of all time, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Now, this is the fifth anniversary, uh, fifth, five, fifth anniversary edition. Uh, it's been five years. I, I guess that's what that means. <laughs> five years since the game has come out. Uh, let's see, five years ago, I would say it was like an Xbox launch title. I would say that it came out for the Xbox originally. No, I'm sorry. It came out for the Xbox and the PC, but it was a launch title for the Xbox 360. Now, let me give you my history before we get into the uh, exquisite unboxing right here. I'm going to show you all the good, the gadgets and gadgets that we got inside. I got gadgets and gizmos of plenty. I got hoops it's and what's its galore. How about think about Bobs? I got plenty. If anybody can tell me that reference is from... Um, Automatic 10 bucks. Automatic 10 bucks. Cool nerds point. Mother sucking points. Anyway, cool nerds! My uh, history with Oblivion is a, a rough one. You gotta see, like, you gotta understand that I've been a JRPGer for the rest of my whole life. My whole life I've been a JRPGer. I've always been knowing the spiky hair, the big eyes, uh, you know, as this has been my thing. Uh, the amazing stories, the out of this world stories, the stories that would just. Boom! This mining blowing and, and, and just crazy. And, and, and able, even though the crazy the story was for the JRPGs, I still can relate to that mother flipper. You know what I'm saying? Now, we don't want to be here all day. Let me just go ahead and just explain what's going on around here. Now! I've had a chance to get my hands on this game because I was looking for a game to play. Back in the day, all, all I would play is NBA2K games with my cousins. Basketball games. So I, I purchased an Xbox. I wanted to upgrade because I had a PS2 at the current time. I updated to the Xbox. I went in and got me NBA 2K, uh, whatever. I think it was 2K6 at the time? Was it 2K6? I don't know. It was a fun game. But I didn't have any other games. I wanted an RPG, but there weren't any RPGs at that time. But I was going around looking in the IGN and GameStop. <clears throat> excuse me. And they were saying, this is uh, RPG, Western RPG. It's the bomb. It's getting all these awards. It's winning E3. It's winning Game of the Year. It's doing all this other crazy, amazing stuff. So I went ahead and I said, let me go ahead and try this game. So I went ahead and purchased the game. Purchased a copy of Oblivion. I think at the time, I still got it too late. It was like, I still bought it used. You know what I'm saying? I was, whatever. But anyway, I purchased the game and I played it and I hated it. Because it wasn't what I thought an RPG should be. I hated it. So I returned the game. <laughs> got rid of it. I said, this is some bull crap. The game is way too scary. I went into, the, I, I walked into the uh, the Oblivion Gates and I was terrified. I'm like, what the, this is not a game. This is this is Satan on, in the game. This I really thought the game was satanic, demonic, and I was just bugging out like, yo, this game is just way too hard, way too scary. Like, this one time, a mother flipping skeleton just jumped on and scared the crap out of me. I was like, oh! Dropped the controller and everything. I was like, I'm not playing this mother flipper anymore. <laughs> no! I was bored. All I had was 2K. I would play with my cousins. And after that, I was bored again. And as they would do, I was like, man, you know what? That game, Oblivion, was just on my mind because it gave me a challenge. And I just really wanted to conquer it again. I didn't really understand. Plus, plus, the other thing I didn't understand was that you had to mix and you had to pick a certain type of character. You had to pick a dark elf, a human. I know I'm going extra long, but now just listen to me now. Pick dark elf, human, uh, whatever. Uh, what you call that? People call me him all the time. The black people. I forgot what their names were. But anyway, I picked the dark elf because like, I picked the warrior. I picked the little mini elf at first, and he was too little, and he was a bum. Like I'm a big dude, so I picked the dark elf, and I wanted to have magic powers. I wanted to be able to come in, so I picked that dude, and then like I got the game. All of a sudden, I started figuring out the game. All of a sudden, the game started getting hard anymore. All of a sudden, I was like, every day I would go to work, I would read my instruction manual every single day. I would read through it. Oh my God, is this how you do that? Oh, okay, if I did this, okay, if I add that, if I do this, if I sneak around, ah, everything leveled up. If you use your hits, the attack, you're sneaking, whatever, whatever, you're peeing, your peeing will level up. After that, I just became hooked to the game and every day I would be at work, I would be at basketball practice, I would be doing something and all I would do would be thinking about is Oblivion the whole time. Every single day was I thinking about Oblivion. I couldn't wait to get home so I could not get some hours of Oblivion. I had a girlfriend at the time. 
And the game started taking over. The girlfriend time. You see what I'm saying? That's a good game. This game has to be the only game that can go for a five-year anniversary edition. Why? Because no game today has replayability. None. Except for this game, or probably the greatest fighting game of all time, that'll be Naruto and Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. <laughs> anyway, cooler's are wasting your time. We are going already five minutes in. Let's get this bad boy popping and booming. Let's get this bad boy a boxer, baby. That's crazy, right? That's mother, blah, blah. Alright, cool nerds, we're back. We got, as you see here, the thing has a little weight to it. This bad boy's a little heavy right here. <laughs> this bad boy's a little, <laughs> it's a little heavy right this mother flapper. Okay, we got the Oblivion, Elder Scrolls, uh, whatever, Oblivion, four, five, fifth anniversary edition. It's got the little Oblivion crest on there. It's really just hot, man, for the Xbox 360, you know. That's why I currently, originally bought it for the Xbox 360, so I got it for the Xbox, you dig? And it comes with uh, the Oblivion, because the Knights of the Nine, and it comes with the Shirazal. I never had a chance to get too far, even though I did download it, I didn't have a good chance to get far into that. So basically, I'm just going to start from the beginning, uh, and just, you know, just put countless of endings. It comes with, uh, let's go, let's get it there! Comes with the Collector's uh, Steel book, comes with like a little Collector's book. Comes with the making of Oblivion, I will be watching that tonight, uh, before I go to bed. Probably have a little ch chips and dip or some popcorn or go with that bad boy because I'm really interested. And the Bolivian game map. Okay. Uh, full, a full color map of Circle of the Shivas Isle. Okay. Okay. Whatever. I already had that map anyway. And, you know, this is the regular stuff you would see on the Bolivian. It's rated in for mature. So, my young bucks, please ask your parents to buy this game. All right. Let's get this bad boy unboxed. All right. Hold on here. Wow. They really secured this bad boy in here. Hold on real quick. Hold on. Wow. Okay. You're going to make me ruin the game. Or some 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 stickers. Uh, what the f what the f mother mother flack? All right, hold on now, real quick, cool nerds. Now bear with me now, mother flappers. Hold on now. You know we're not organized here, cool nerds. You know what I'm saying we're, we're never organized when it comes to cool nerds. We just we just go, man. Peyton Manning flow. I just go. No, what the hell is going on? Around? Oh my god. You know what? I'm deducting points already just for you know what I mean. Like what the hell is? I could have killed myself just now. All right. Um. Okay, there. Here we go. We just wasted two minutes of unboxing this mother flipper. Okay, you take that off. <laughs> take that off right there. It's nice and clear case. That is hot, man. You definitely got to keep that secure. God dang it. I didn't damage the... God dang it, man. Automatic deduction of points there. Okay, anyway. Now, now I got to get to another guy going case. You know what? Oh, God. They're really just... They're really grinding my gears right now. Hold on. Uh, you might be in this second suck. Okay. All right. This is the back of this mother flipper. It's with the Oblivion crest on that belt. But really cool. Really neat. Bow! Okay. Here we go. Comes with the uh, Oblivion uh, disc. And it comes with the bonus material right here. That's hot right there. Wait a second. What? This too? Wait a second now. Hold on. Hold on now, mother flippers. All right. Here's the map right here. Another brown map. I done got already. Thank you. Uh, whatever, that's it. Instruction manual. Make sure you do that instruction manual because it will be your key to uh, survival. And uh, some boom blabs. And the disc one right here. So I guess this will be the game. And this will be the downloadable content right here. And this will be your movie of such. Uh, yeah. Man, let's, see, let's go look. I got a little artwork in that mother flacker right there. Hold up now. Hold on. I want to damage the game. Okay, it's got this little weird guy here. Really looking like a creepster. Stranger danger for sure. And, uh, let's see what else we got going on around here. Oh, yeah, they're one of these brolic, nasty mother flavors that you fight in the, in the oblivion gates. You know what I mean? Just nasty than the mother sucker. Yeah, cooler, this is it, man. I'm about to go ahead and pop this bad boy in right now. I'm gonna get my game on. I'm gonna take a little break from Naruto and this start. And, uh, what's gonna be anyway, hold me over until the greatest game of all time, and that will be Elder Scrolls Skyrim. I'm Zobe Zabani! And I'm uh, awesome!